Good morning, good afternoon, and welcome back to Watching Chickies. Now here on day 381 of our broadcast, and Watching Chickies is the daily live stream here on Reddit, and then later YouTube about the lives and development of our young chickens. Today here in gray we have Stormy, our silky rooster. In black, we have Braveheart, our Ayam Samani hen. In brown and gold, we have Kagome, our Onigadori hen. In that little striped uh, chick over there is half Onigadori and half Silky, named Dale. And another half Onigadori, half Silky, named Chip, is right here on my shoulders. And then right down there, in black, is our half Ayam Samani and half Silky Chick named Sweetheart. Uh, Kagome over here is the mother hen to those two chicks. Uh, while Braveheart um, does have one of the chicks, Sweetheart, um, they don't really have a mother-child uh, relationship. Uh, Braveheart laid the egg, but she did not hatch the egg. And then over here on my shoulder, uh, Chip was born in an incubator, even though uh, Chip is fully, um, you know, one of the chicks that's like one of the offspring, um, and was rejected by Kagome. So I have done all of the raising when it comes to Chip over here. And we're still trying to kind of integrate Chip into the rest of the flock. Um, I've introduced Chip um, through the, uh, the crate that we have in the back there, so Chip can safely spend a few hours uh, by himself with the rest of the flock, and it's just an ongoing process. Oh, and good afternoon there. Hello there, Memento Mori. Hope you're having a lovely day, and I hope all of you out there are having lovely days. We can see... Chip's little hairstyle here has become quite outrageous. Definitely stylish. Yeah. Starting to look a bit like a teenage bird there. So much happier now that I've come downstairs. Um, I have to admit that Chip has not taken to the crate so far. I uh, have put food and water there for Chip. And I've made it so um, I usually put food right next to um, the crate as well to encourage the other chickens to eat next to Chip, so, you know, so Chip can get used to them. But um, so far, he has been a little bit hesitant uh, to be near the other chickens. Uh, right now, he is just kind of peeping into my ear as if he's telling me, hey... I want to go back upstairs to my area right now. Oh, that's a cute moment there with Dale, just looking at Miss Kagome's tail. A lot of preening going on down there, you guys. They do like to imitate their mom when she starts preening and just do a little bit of it themselves. Hello there, little sweetheart. Gone next to your dad over there? Stormy is the father of all of the little chickens here. He has fertilized eggs from uh, Braveheart and Kagome. He is our one, well, confirmed rooster so far. I mean, we don't know yet. Uh, the, we don't know for sure yet the, uh, the genders of Sweetheart, Dale, or Chip right now. Though, um, just from the actual um, movement of all three of them, they do seem to be moving around kind of like hens, a bit more parallel to the ground, not really um, puffing out their chest so far. So I'm kind of hoping that all, uh, all of them start to uh, kind of display signs that they are hens. I'm going to sit down a little bit closer to the chickens now. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Stormy. Yep. Yes, you're a good boy. Um, a fairyist. Uh, no, Chip has not really integrated yet with the rest of the flock. Um, though I'm, sp I'm having Chip spend 
um, a few hours each day now in the crate down here before I transition Chip uh, to sleeping down here in the crate with the other chickens. Um, so hopefully, you know, Chip just gets used to them. They get used to him. And then I can let Chip out of the crate for longer periods and with having Chip down on, you know, sort of their level without a barrier or me in place and have um, him be safe. Now, um, just as a sort of safety measure, I um, do keep Chip in the crate when he is down here and I am not with him, uh, just to ensure that nothing bad happens. Because we want to make sure that this sort of transition period goes smoothly. And it takes time to introduce a chicken to a flock. It can be an ongoing process, especially for a little chicken like our Chip here, who doesn't have as much experience with other chickens. Lovely little bit of ginger right there on some of the uh, feathers we can see. Yeah. Our little chip has gotten quite a bit darker here. Um, all of our little chickens are members of our family and friends for life, so uh, they will never be eaten. These, um, you know, are lovely pets. We want to see them uh, grow. We want to see them have happy lives. And, you know, they are our little feathery friends. Isn't that right, Mr. Stormy? Yeah. Oh, and hello there, sweetheart. Oh, you're getting bigger each day as well. Looking a bit like your mama right over here. Though you do have Stormy's fuzzy feet. You have that extra toe. <gasps> hello, sweetheart. You got that one little tuft on the top of your head as you're starting to cut and get into a little bit of a hairstyle over there. Oh, and lots of preening being done by the chickens right now. So, uh, Chip is steadfastly just kind of staying right here on my wrist, not really wanting to uh, leave. Uh, Chip has been down here for a few hours by himself with the rest of the flock um, in the crate over there as he gets used to the rest of the, uh, the flock. So we want him to be safe. We want him to feel secure. Um, Chip will probably sleep in the brooder again tonight. Um, maybe tomorrow we'll have Chip sleep with the rest of the flock down here in the crate where uh, he can be guaranteed to be safe. Oh yeah, Chip is definitely getting to be a big little bird. Though I love that little hairstyle of yours. Oh, and the Glorious Leader, 27. Thank you for the Wholesome Award. Moist Sandwich, thank you for the Hugs Award. And we're just watching the chickens be themselves, uh, have a few treats together. Um, we get to see how the um, our three newest members of the flock are doing. Oh, and I see we have a few new viewers right now. Uh, Tracer, thank you for the heartwarming award. Uh, Uber Rob, thank you for the all-seeing upvote. Uh, this is Watching Chickies, the daily live stream about the lives and development of our chickens. Um, over there in brown and gold is our Onigadori hen named Kagome. The Onigadori is an endangered breed of chicken from Japan, known for their tail feathers that as they um, keep growing, keep growing with them. They could get to lengths of um, 20 feet and more or over six meters. Over here in black, we have Braveheart, our Ayam Samani hen. The Ayam Samani have hyperpigmentation, which means her black coloration goes all the way down to her very bones. Uh, this breed originates from the Java Islands. And then over here we have Mr. Stormy, our one and only rooster. Uh, his breed is the Silky Breed, which originates from China. Um, they are marvelously fluffy their whole lives.
Uh, they have these really fluffy little feet, they have an extra toe, and they are really lovely, lovely little chickens. Uh, tip your hat, thank you for the love award. Much appreciated. Uh, yep, yeah. uh, onagadoris can have tails that grow to be more than six meters long. I think the longest ever onagadori tail was around 40 feet in length. Um, and we watch the chickens day by day. Um, we've been streaming for a little over a year now. Uh, with all these chickens, we are on day 381, and it has been quite the adventure. Um, originally, our three sort of big chickens here, we had them when they were just a couple days old, and we've been streaming ever since, and now they have babies of their own. Uh, we have Sweetheart, who is Braveheart and Stormy's child. Then we have um, Chip, and then we have Dale, who is Kagome and Stormy's child. So Stormy has definitely been um, quite active here with the flock. Um, and all these little chickens are members of our family and friends for life, so they will never be eaten. We want them to live long, happy, and healthy lives. Um, you know, we like giving them treats, picking them up each day, um, petting them, and just making them feel loved. Uh, they have an outdoor coop as well with a chicken run, and they sleep in here on the various cubbies and nooks that we have for them at night to keep them safe from local predators, such as uh, raccoons, foxes, falcons, and more. Um, so, ooh, hello, Mr. Stormy, raising up your head as you look at our little chip here. Uh, chip is... Almost two months old at this point. Uh, Chip actually hatched live on stream, which was a quite interesting day. Um, Sweetheart and Dale over here were hatched by Kagome. Uh, the person that says bye, thank you for the silver award. Much appreciated. And yep, still stream each and every day. So anyone who wants to follow us uh, can. Um, we also have links on my profile to our YouTube channel called Watching Chickies and our Discord server where we often just kind of have little chats and post pictures. Um, Prince Gamer 2523 thank you for the silver award. Much appreciated. And hello there, Patim70. Oh, Miss Braveheart having a nice meal there. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, I love your little whistles there, your little murmurs to us. And Kagome is there with her little brood here. Unfortunately, Kagome did reject Chip, so it's taking a little while uh, to get Chip integrated with the rest of the flock. But you know what? We will get there eventually. Uh, busy ad, one, two, four, three. Thank you for the wholesome award. Um, Harry... Harry Asian Boy, thank you for the Hugs Award. Um, I occasionally get little pecks from the chickens, but nothing that actually hurts. Uh, generally speaking, we've um, hand-raised all of these little chickens. We give them pets every day. Uh, the breeds themselves, the Ayam Samani, the Silky, and the Onagadori, are all well-known for being um, quite friendly to their human caretakers. 